the top level. I'm a rebel, rise up cause I'm a top rebel. Look in my eyes, this is my time. Step up, rise up, fight first, bring it up. You know, when I first came to SWF, and this will tie in with the episode I'm doing today, it was quite clear to see that there was a hierarchy within SWF. There was Side Splitter at the top, along with people like Crimson, Crisis, Luke Tyler, at one point, Robert DeCaro before he was so bismally abandoned. And that leads into today's conversation, today's talk, because in this episode of Remus Talks, the man that you want me to talk about is Crimson. <laughs> Where did I first meet Crimson? Hmm. I can't quite remember, to be honest. Sky! Just one of my dogs in the background. Sky, this one. She's very protective of the people that she cares for. And more vicious than Lottie in more accounts. Maybe she'll show herself. But yes, I don't remember quite where I met Crimson. I do remember seeing him. And I do remember the thoughts that I had for quite some time about him. Nothing bad to start with. Just, he seems to favour more hardcore matches and... With how it's been recently, I can see why. It's a lot more fun than just your regular singles matches. But the changing point in how I viewed Crimson was actually at Mosborough. Do you remember Crimson? You left me, or rather the old me, with a concussion at the end of that event. I had to go to hospital. It was at this point that I fully started listening to Richard's advice and I suppose, in a way, I should thank you for doing that to me. I should thank you for doing that. Because, you see, you triggered this change in me. You helped me to become what I should have been a lot longer ago. And if it wasn't for you, none of that would have happened. So I thank you for doing that. I truly do. Still... It doesn't change the fact that you, <laughs> you seem to have very different notions about the kind of person you are to what you actually are. See, from the way that you look at yourself, you view yourself as something of a, let's say, a legend within SWF, and that you may be. But a legend is entitled to have whatever he wants without actually having to earn it, without actually having to put in any effort for it whatsoever. Someone who can just walk up to Lawrence and go, Hey, I'm Crimson. Give me a match. And the only time that was different was when you partook in that Royal Rumble, where, strangely enough, you also attacked me there as well. <sighs> but this time, you couldn't quite keep me down, could you? <laughs> I was still standing at the end of that. Yeah. I think if you ever decide to try and go into the ring with me again, you're gonna find it's gonna take a lot more than a kick to the head to keep me down. Yes. You have this sense of sense of self-entitlement to you. Something that for someone like me, who's earned every chance that he got, disgusts me. And you'll try and hide it and say that you do fight for your opportunities and that you do fight for everything that you got. But you're also the same person who didn't work for a, a shot at the World Championship whilst James Westney was in charge of that World Championship. The same person who backstabbed his brother 
in the middle of the Battle Royal at Killamarsh and threw him out. And if you were so truly invested in making sure that the World Championship was in the Demon Nation, it wouldn't have mattered who had pinned the World Champion at that point. No, it had to be you. It had to be you. It couldn't be your brother. It couldn't be your brother Crisis. No, 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 no. It has to be you. Because everybody talks about you and the Demon Nation, but not many people talk about Crisis, your baby brother. Whether that's because he's not as talented as you, or whether because you keep him out of the shadows, well, rather, in the shadows, and you put yourself in the spotlight all to yourself, well, that's only for you two to figure out. You claim yourself to be tougher than you actually are. You claim yourself to be something that is bigger than what you actually are. And just the way you act proves it. You post videos up onto SWF and you expect people to bow down to you at every whim. To bow down before your excellence, your majesty. When the truth is, you're like the Roman Empire. But not in its early period, not when it reached its zenith. You've already passed your zenith. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not that intelligent. I'll tell you what a zenith is. Every empire has it. They reach the peak. They reach the peak of their empire. And then it only gets worse from there. It happened to the Romans. It happened to the Gauls. It happened to the Greeks, and it can happen to people as well. And whereas I am nowhere near my zenith yet, you've already passed yours. You've already passed yours a long time ago. And you're quite happy to crush any newcomers who come within SWF, who try to make a name for themselves. People like me, for starters. Although I suppose you could include people like Rob Van Helsing and Drac Nightwing and many, many other people because they're a threat to you. They're a threat to your dynasty. And I understand. Honestly, I do. It's hard work being able to maintain an image of yourself. But I don't have to pretend that I'm something I'm not. Whilst you do. <laughs> and I suppose that's the main difference between me and you. When I go in, there's nothing superficial about me. I go in, I do what I do, I own up to what I do. And that's the end of it. As for you, you try and skirt your way around things. You try and bend the rules within your favour rather than anybody else's. You unfairly get everything thrown your way. All because Lawrence is bending over for you and allowing you to do whatever you want. And nobody's really stood in your way for quite some time and you've let that get to your head a little bit. You've let that self-entitlement, that ego, get to your head. Well. Suppose that's why you don't like me a lot. Because let's face it, People have been noticing me very, very quickly within SWF, within the space of a year. A year. And you've been with SWF near the start. You're one of the veterans of the company. People should be looking at you. But no, I'm stealing all that attention away from you. And you, 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 you can't stand it. You can't stand it one little bit. So no wonder you've decided to take it upon yourself to attack me. And sure, I said a few nasty words to you. And sure, we fought in a five-on-five. Five. Sure, why not? But really, what reason do you have to go after me? You know I have a talkative opinion. And one that I like to put out all the time. So, you should know that I say a lot about everyone, but I've never once come after you. I've never once tried to come for your championships. 
I've never once tried to fight you and Crisis in a tag team match. Yet you seem so insistent on chasing me down, on trying to prove that I'm not what I am. Even though I am the toughest, I am the strongest, and I am the most intelligent, the most tactically minded individual in SWF. But you seem to hate the fact that I can say whatever I want and to whoever I want. Or is it just because I'm stealing that spotlight away from you? And I'm putting on matches that you could only hope to even make yours at least half as good as mine. And you needed someone like Leo Libra to try and get you into hardcore fame. I mean, let's be honest, Leo Libra is a bit of a maniac. Someone who should never be allowed back into the ring again. He's a disgrace to wrestling. He's a disgrace to being a human, for starters. So it should make sense that you'd follow a very similar set of attributes. You want to come after me. That's fine. I always do love a good challenge. But the difference between the Demon Nation and the difference between the society is that everybody knows the place in the society. Everyone has the role. Everyone has the function. And nobody steps beyond that. Nobody steps beyond me. But as for you and Crisis, and whoever else you decide you want in the Demon Nation, you're all too hungry for wealth and fame than you already are. You're too hungry for it. And it's going to be your downfall. You cling to those championships like nobody else is supposed to have them. When in truth, it's only going to be a matter of time before either the society or another tag team comes along and takes away those belts of yours. Or, say I take away the Hardcore Championship, and Robert DeCaro takes away the UK Championship. Strip those away from you, and what have you got left? Broken husks of individuals who can't function without something in their hands. Something to make themselves feel worthwhile, something to make themselves feel as if they're worth everything in SWF. Take those away and you're a nobody. Because there's nothing truly interesting about you other than using cheese graters on people and hitting people with any glass that you can find, throwing people through chairs and tables. You're like a downgraded New Jack. But even New Jack didn't need any championship gold to make himself known. And I don't need any championship gold to make myself known. I'm just... I just know where I should be. And that's at the World Championship. I still haven't heard back from you, Lawrence. When am I going to hear back from you on that? I'm still waiting for that title shot that I know I deserve, seeing as you've handed them out to everyone. Or are you just going to keep avoiding me and you're going to claim that I'm not worthy of it? Because even though everybody else has been given that chance. But Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. You can do whatever you want. Come after me. See where that gets you. Because you may find that you're not the most hardcore individual within SWF. Because hardcore isn't about how many people you can put through a table. It's about how many times you can be put through a table and still keep getting back up. And you might find it's going to take a lot more than what it did before to keep me down. And I'm going to prove that to you in our match. When everything will go my way and that everything that I have planned will go ahead, despite you. 
You're a disgrace. And one I will be happy to be rid of very, very soon. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. And click up there. So then you can vote for which wrestler I should talk about next. And I'll see you all in the next one.